Hello, it's John Ferris again from Benefits to Work. Today I've typed in the following information the top 10 recruitment website in UK review. And what I'm looking at here is what would be the top 10 recruitment websites. And I was looking for a review. What I found was this particular site here. And this site produced a series of links that we can see. And this site provided generic um, links, as I'm going to look at. I'm not highlighting all of them. Uh, I've not highlighted the NHS or the Guardian as being the key pages here. Um, because the Guardian will tend to look at a specific uh, niche area and the NHS again looks at the niche area and the test in case you're interested is the education area uh, and that's quite well known so this these three are very well known websites papers etc so don't necessarily fit into this particular criteria they're good within their own area but not in this particular area that I'm going to go for although I will touch on the Guardian as we go through so going right to the top the official job centre website which is where most or many job seekers are going to in fact probably it gets more traffic purely and simply because it will deal with any job seeker who's unemployed some of you are unemployment support allowance or general sales or job seekers allowance or indeed universal credit all those three groups of people will use this particular site which is find a universal job match um, and it's very very simplistic in its uh, what it will actually do for you um, it will actually you can log in and you can get to find and search for work and um, it can hold on to a CV, it can hold on to your application history um, and those various areas. It's fairly basic information here in terms of you can put your profile there, you can get your CV letter, you can get messages from the job centre and areas like that. So it's very much based on uh, a specific market tends to be very accessible from the viewpoint of an employer who uh, may be quite happy a small a small business that may want to recruit um, <coughs> what does it provide it provides alerts like many other recruitment sites highlighted on the videos previously and messages from employers uh, saved jobs recommended jobs what you tend not to be seeing so much of is uh, information and support and advice strangely from the job centre. The research tips are fairly limited uh, and uh, maybe not as accessible as you would expect. So we're going to move on to the next one which is Read. Now Read uh, is a fairly interesting site in the sense that it covers uh, you can browse jobs <coughs> and one of the key areas that is quite interesting is the variety of jobs we're looking at thousands of jobs in specific areas like engineering jobs you've got 10,000 recruitment consultancy jobs you've got uh, 9,000 and hospital, hospitality, hospital sorry, and catering jobs 6,000 Search and consultancy jobs 876. So in some fields the numbers are lower. Uh, for example, security and safety jobs where we have 556. But if we were to go to, for example, sales jobs, you've got 18,000. So there is a significant difference in the areas. Um, popular jobs searches. Well, London is one of the um, key areas that is sort of. Uh, site will work with um, web developers, temporary jobs. Um, this is interesting. I find this particularly interesting. Uh, 2014. This has actually been recorded in 2015. 
So they've got 50,000 plus jobs. And um, you've got um, courses available through here. Now, Reed used to do have a number of different uh, options and available ability aspects to it. Uh, you can advertise jobs, you can course advice. Looking at the course jobs, we have a variety of different course subjects. IT may well be mainly um, doing more training from one area. Let's say Tech, Fashion and Beauty. You've got a, a variety of different courses there and pieces of information. You've got discount courses, you've got IT courses, you've got accountancy courses, you've got university courses. Um, so these are all courses subcontracted effectively potentially through the Reed website um, so that you can gain access and you've got different prices, you've got free training, you've got a variety of different prices there. Online note has got 598, classroom 154 and on site 20. But it also looks at the apprenticeship category, of which you can see no courses at all. So we have a number of different things there uh, with regards to that area. We have um, our job section. Careers advice is another area that is important within recruitment um, because at the end of the day, you're putting the information in, you're seeking uh, to ensure that you get as near as you can to. Uh, what you're actually after. So you've got a free CV builder. Master your mindset. An interesting subject within itself. Um, so that's basically a book. Um, some people may find that a, a, an interesting area. Uh, others may find it slightly more challenging. You can create your CV and you can actually develop your CV from that uh, now that is free. Not all the sites are offering completely free CVs. Um, so that is something that, that may be worth taking on board. The access to the site relatively simple. Uh, you can register fairly quickly. Um, and you can look through uh, using the keywords, your location. Moving on to the next one, Total Jobs. Okay, Total Jobs, uh, again, another website, fairly similar to the previous one. And we can see, again, different descriptions and different layout. We've got our e learning zone, similar to the previous one. Part time, that's an interesting area. Um, we can look quickly at the popular searches, and you can see. Again, variety of jobs. I suspect most of the Christmas jobs are probably now gone uh, in this particular area. So we have the companies highlighted. Again, very quickly, you've got your companies A to Z there. You've got other information um, that you can uh, use. You've got your Facebook, your Twitter, and your Google. Careers advice. Now, I would suggest that each of these sites can be somewhat tested out from this particular area as to whether you know, you're getting the best information. You're getting this rewritten by the fuller service, um, and um, that is uh, interesting because they are here looking uh, at obviously providing you with. Um, a satisfaction guarantee. Um, <laughs> simple tool, the next career move, it gives five minutes and arrive in for the job role. So if you're not really not sure where you want to be, that might be an option. Money and legal, something we didn't see on the last website. Um, and that looks at everything from how to handle noticing the job reference of clients and the redundancy dismissal type help, help, help to hand in your notice. Well, if you've never handed in your notice, that might be an interesting section to look at. Okay. Um, profiles. 
key to most of the sites as will be uploading your CV. Okay. I said I'd briefly touch on this site, but this is the reason why. The Guardian Jobs um, fairly um, clearly in a specific professional categories here. Um, yes, you can look up careers advice, but the Guardian obviously is interconnected to its readers, so if you're the sort of person who's probably going to be reading uh, the paper, then um, that may be something that you would want to be looking at as to whether it suits the demographic of work you're looking for. Psychology of interview success, taking control of an interview. Um, one thing that I noticed was um, has created an infographic CV. Quite interesting in that perspective. Um, if you're not sure what an infographic CV is, um, you probably wouldn't be the only person who wasn't sure. So, as I say, things like this are um, interesting. Uh, your CV on for an online database. I would say this is probably a particularly interesting area because many jobs now, as featured in one of my previous articles, actually go through very specific databases and in some cases they use boolean or logical searching to mine the candidates uh, database. So on this particular page this is worthwhile just getting an understanding of it even if you're not particularly necessarily going to be using the Guardian section it may be worth using this particular page to have an understanding of this particular resource and this particular machine, machine as such. Well, I'm going to move on to Monster. Monster is um, a very well known site featured on a lot of videos on the internet at the moment. Um, again, you have your usual top tips, you've got your communities. Um, jobs, well, you've got part time mentioned here, and you've got a variety of different types of job. And you've got the option of taking a career MOT, uploading your CV, which, as I said before, most of the jobs will do that. As we look further down, it mentions about being mobile, uh, in the sense that it's going to be an app there. It not only looks at the positions, the types of the sectors, but it also looks at the areas as well. Uh, learn to trade, uh, open university career, personnel career management. Um, and it also shows you other aspects that may be of use. So one of the things I think that may help a lot of people is to take on board the social media section and that the monster network is inclusive. On the other side you've got your iPhone and Android job app, um, apps and you've got your job search on mobile. Now most recruitment sites will use those particular facilities um, to actually search on a mobile. Moving on to every job site, um, not one that everybody knows of, um, and it's <laughs> interesting the different types of jobs you might find there. Um, we're looking at the graduate area here, we're looking at degree uh, qualified people. Um, I say that because if we go there, most of those would probably be looking at. Uh, graduates upwards middle way through. You're not looking at the lower skilled jobs in this particular area. Um, but it does actually appear to um, scroll through some of that. This is not a site I know well. I am going to move on to the next one. Find a jo the job site itself. Okay, interesting areas. We have keywords, we have location within the mileage. Not available on all those uh, previous uh, sections. Free live CV check and um, training online like others. 
Okay, types of companies. So you've got the CV template for the employed, unemployed, and graduate. Okay. We have a blog. Now we haven't seen that on all the websites. So we also have careers advice. Take note, this is how it doesn't have a multiple, this does have a multiple. Upload your CV and job search by sector, location and title. In terms of the blog, we just highlighted here, the reason for that is as you can see here we have new jobs, lose weight, personal development and various other categories. Okay, this is actually uh, <laughs> on the 18th, and as I say, this has been recorded in January now, so uh, we haven't yet had. Oh, yes, we have. We, this is the 6th of January. This is an article issued on the 6th of January. The last website I'm going to look, for, look at is Fish for Jobs. Okay, this tends to uh, have a good variety of jobs and we're also given again the number of jobs for the area we have the UK and we have a breakdown in other areas interestingly on this particular one we can see our title of the job and we can also see the area pay and a reasonable amount of snippet information there. Um, I think that's quite useful um, if you want to look at how they're going to use the information quite a lot of jobs there for that particular area. You can have the jobs email to like most of the websites. Um, careers advice. We're still in the Christmas job hunt like most of the sites are but I think we've actually moved on into the 2015 Bonanza. <laughs> we are now in 2015 as we record this on uh, in the beginning of January. Okay, one of the things that may appeal to people is we have the younger job seeker template and we have the older job seeker template. This is something of a rarity, not always visible on all sites. We have different forms of um, uh, preparation um, customer service CV template. There, once you place your career change. But I think this has to be one that you don't see so much of, the older job seeker. Um, as well as offering the webinars, I'm not seen on all the web, web pages of, of all our recruitment sites. Um, so well worth checking out. I'm just going to slide down to here. We have different symbols for our different areas. And finally, like most of them, the uploading the CV. So it's covering a whole group of websites. You can see, if you rewind the video, you can see the different sections, how many jobs feature between you in your particular area or your particular category in many of the job areas. And you can also see what's available within your area, which may be equally as important. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to watch this video.